in today's service. Also, student classes have done other dedications, like the memorial tree we have on campus, which is situated out behind the parking ramp. So today, we, the university community, gather to pay our respects to you, our body donors, and their families. Immediately after service, I invite everyone to stay for the reception, so coffee and cake in the back there. And uh, we'd love to share, uh, have you share your memories of your loved ones with us and our community. Thank you. Those who have given unselfishly to advance the training of our future health care providers. All over the world, as each new generation of students begin their studies in medicine and other clinical disciplines, they will study the structure of the human body to understand how it functions and to learn how the normal function is altered by disease. Thanks to the early work of a Flemish anatomist physician, Andreas Vesalius. Learning anatomy through dissection is an irreplaceable and privileged part of a practitioner's training. The science of medicine has been advanced thanks to the human sacrifice of those who make this commitment. It is an awesome contribution. Your loved ones, grandmothers, grandfathers, mothers, fathers, sons, daughters, aunts, uncles, nieces, nephews, cousins, friends, have given us an invaluable gift which we respect and honor. This is the day that we honor their contribution to science and education. What a noble legacy. Des Moines University as a health sciences university is committed to providing the best educational experiences and clinical training for our students. We are dedicated to primary care, prevention, and the delivery of compassionate, patient-centered care. Professional integrity and respect for others are also primary tenets of the expectations we have for our future caregivers. We also require that students maintain sensitivity and respect for those who give of themselves to aid in their training, whether they are alive and well or deceased as donors. That we can assure you. However, at this moment, we also acknowledge your sorrow. There's a quote that I recall which states, death leaves a heartache no one can heal. But love leaves a memory no one can steal. As you reflect on this gift, which has been given to us and our students by your loved ones, we also thank you for your personal sacrifice and commitment in letting go of the physical being and embracing the memory of the spirit of the person who is no longer with us. We recognize how difficult this may be, but hope you find comfort in knowing that they have provided an invaluable service. So I close with this. Those we love remain with us the love itself lives on. And cherished memories never fade because our loved one's gone. Those we love can never be more than a thought apart but for as long as there is memory, they will live on in your hearts. Thank you.
Good afternoon. I would like to thank all of you for coming and allowing me the privilege to join with you in honoring the legacy of your loved ones. My name is Alex Bauer and I am the student government president for the College of Osteopathic Medicine here at TMU. I wanted to start off this afternoon with a poem that I found quite fitting for the celebration of life that we're having here today. That poem reads, where do they go to, the people who leave? Are they around us in the cool evening breeze? Do they still hear us and watch us each day? I'd like you to think of them with us that way. Where do they go to when no longer here? I think that they stay with us, calming our fear. Loving us always, holding our hands. Walking beside us on grass or on sand. Where do they go to well, it's my belief. They watch us and help us to cope with our grief. They comfort and stay with us through each of our days, guiding us always through life's mortal maze. Each of your loved ones has a special place within your hearts. When you hear a song that they once sang, or you visit a place that they once loved, that special place they hold in your hearts swells with happiness and fond memory of your friend, spouse, parent, sibling, or relative. Today I want to share with you that in some small fashion, your loved ones will also be a part of us students who have the privilege to learn from them. Each time we utilize our knowledge of the human body for the betterment of one of our patients, we will remember those who gave us that knowledge. As this poem so eloquently states, the memory of your loved ones will guide you along the twists and turns of life's maze. Similarly, as my colleagues and I navigate the tortuous maze of diagnosing 
treating, and healing our future patients, we will have your loved one's memory alongside us to guide our way. <coughs> How wonderful an opportunity it is to make a lasting positive impact in this world long after your final breath. Your loved ones will continue to better others' lives for countless years to come. I thank you and your loved ones from the bottom of my heart for allowing my class to learn and grow from them. I'd like to leave you today with something Jane Goodall once said. You cannot get through a single day without having an impact on the world around you. What you do makes a difference, and you have to decide what kind of difference you want to make. Thank you. Good afternoon. My name is Lindsay Yelm, and I'm honored to be speaking on behalf of the College of Podiatric Medicine and Surgery's 2018 class. Today you all have gathered um, from places far and near, taking time out of your schedules to celebrate and recognize the lives of your friends and family. The decisions your loved ones made to physically give of themselves to Des Moines University has been invaluable to the students and staff, from which you've already heard. The consideration they placed on our education is humbling, and I don't believe it's possible to fully articulate the abundant thanks we have for their gift. We thank you for coming to memorialize the donors and hear from us about how your family members have given us such a meaningful gift. As many of you can imagine, the study of the human body is pivotal to understanding all aspects of medicine. As we progress in our education, Anatomy Lab is one of the most memorable teaching opportunities we have. It is the first time we truly really discover the main intricacies of the human body. While books and online programs enhance our understanding, there are no resources that could be of more value than that of our donors. They have taught us and will continue to remind us of the care and expertise required to keep our patients healthy and functioning at their best. What they each have taught us is um, not only anatomical knowledge, but also what it means to give selflessly and generously to others. A passage from the book, the book of Luke states, to whom much is given, much is expected. Our student body is reminded that we have been entrusted with an enormous gift that has been provided to us with a wealth of knowledge. From that knowledge, we build our foundation to provide optimal medical care. With what we have been given and the training invested in us, we are delighted to one day be able to give back to others. Your family members embodied the importance of giving and did so beyond their lifetime. The legacy of your loved ones will live on in ways beyond what we can count because they are giving exponentially to generations of patients long after them. This truly is the epitome of outliving your life. While I did not have the opportunity to get to know each of the uh, donors individually, their decision is extremely telling of the noble and generous people they were. Their life choices reflect upon the priority they had to serve others for the betterment of mankind. From this example, everyone here can be reminded of the power of giving. In closing, thank you for joining all the students, faculty, and staff in memorializing your family members and friends. Their lives have truly made a lifelong impact that will continue to give beyond our years, but also within the years of our future patients. Thank you. Good afternoon. It's an honor to be here to speak on behalf of the Doctor of Physical Therapy class of 2013. My name is Christopher Stoll. Um, today we gather to remember and honor the lives of your loved ones. We gather to thank them, yourselves, for the, them and yourselves for your selfless gift, which has been bestowed upon all the students here at DeWitt University. I would like to take a few minutes to express the gratitude of the Doctor of Physical Therapy, Class of 2017. Please forgive me for nothing that I say can truly express the gratitude of my class for the impact that your loved ones have on our lives and ultimately, ultimately our futures as healthcare professionals. Profession, profession. The gift that your loved ones have given has not only expanded our knowledge of the human body, but has opened our hearts. For it is this selfless attitude which we will need to express toward patients to provide them with the quality of care that they deserve. Your loved ones have taught us so much more than just human anatomy, and for this we will be forever grateful. Before I conclude my speech, I would like to read a few things written by my classmates. Here's an expert an excerpt from a poem written by one of my classmates titled Silent Teacher. Thank you so much for thinking of us while you were alive. 
so now we can not only learn, but thrive. If it weren't for this experience, I wouldn't know as much. Learning is easier when you can see, feel, and touch. Although you never spoke a word, what you had for me was more valuable seen than heard. You may not have known it when you decided to give, but you taught me how humans breathe, move, and Another group of students wrote this poem. We do not know the path you chose to walk, but we uncovered the strength that had to heal. We do not know what your hands created, but we have seen what creates you. We do not know your name, but your gracious gift has allowed us to develop understanding of the miracle of the human body. We do know of your nobility and generosity that can be passed on for generations to come because of you. In closing, I would like you to know that your loved one's selfless act has not only impacted our lives, but I believe that the gift that the gift that they have given will also impact the lives of every patient we encounter for the duration of our career as physical therapists. Thank you. I would like to extend my deepest condolences to the friends and family members that have joined us today to celebrate these wonderful individuals. Thank you all for being here. Since the first weekend, since the first week that we arrived on campus, Dr. Matt made a special point to educate us on the importance of the individuals who donated their bodies for our benefit. He made it very clear how lucky we were to have the opportunity to learn anatomy the way that it was. He also informed us that the class president would be expected to give a speech at a memorial service for those individuals. Secretly, on that day, I thought to myself, I wanted to be that person. For, the re for one reason or another, it turned out that I had made enough of an impact on 51 other students in my class that they elected me class president and ultimately into this position today. And just like that, I got my wish speak to all of you. I wanted to give this speech today because I wanted to be the one to say thank you. And because I feel as though I have learned an enormous amount this past year. The biggest thing I learned this year was something that wasn't taught to me in the classroom. I learned perspective. And it was that perspective that entitled me to give you this speech today. I'd like to share something personal with all of you. Something that most of my classmates don't even know about me. June 12th of last year, within the first two weeks of class, my father passed away from brain, from brain cancer. Like, like many of you all, I felt the enormous pain and emptiness that occurs when losing a loved one. It was without a doubt the hardest time of my life. Attending class from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. every day, and trying to keep focused on the schoolwork were less than ideal living conditions. I knew that he would have wanted me to continue to go to class and not dwell on the fact that he was gone. But how could I not? He was so happy that I got into school and that I was going on to have a wonderful career. That is ultimately what kept me going. My dad gave me a lot of things. He gave me a strong head of hair. <laughs> an incredible metabolism. But most of all, he gave me an example of good life. He taught me the meaning of hard work, but more importantly, he taught me, excuse me, he taught me the meaning of hard work, but more importantly, he taught me how to be a loving husband and come, and come September, a father. Besides the constant images of my dad going through my head, minute by minute, I found myself in the end of learned from others who had also passed on. Initially, I didn't think I could continue to go to, to, go to class and focus on my studies with, with death all around me. But it was oddly comforting. There was something about being around those individuals that strangely put me at ease. This is where my perspective ultimately set. I allowed myself to think about these other individuals and truly appreciate what they were doing. They were teaching me. 
They were giving me something that I was going to be able to use for the rest of my life and to hopefully someday help others, just like everything my dad had taught me. So I started thinking a lot. I really looked introspectively and started to appreciate things much more different. I looked at my friends, family, and classmates in a different light. Every single one of us here <coughs> in this room has been shaped and molded into who we are today because of the individuals who have come before us in our lives, for better or for worse. These individuals that we celebrate here today are no exception. They not only taught me about anatomy, they taught me about being selfless. They taught me sacrifice, and they taught me personally about strength. Ultimately, I imagine that they wanted to help the future generation of healthcare providers, and in doing so, improve the world as a whole. That is why I want to say on behalf of the physician assistant class 2016, thank you. These individuals gave me perspective. They gave me the ability to get through one of the hardest moments in my life. And for that, I am and for what forever will be grateful. I know somewhere my dad and these individuals are smiling down upon myself and my classmates, talking about how they all shaped our lives. I'd like to finish with this. While getting my undergraduate degree from Colorado State University, I would frequently walk past an artistic statue on campus with a, quote on, with a quote from Sir Isaac Newton that read, if I have been able to see farther than others, it is because I stood on the shoulders of giants. I walked by this statue hundreds of times during my time there without really thinking about what it meant. Finally, once my youthful hubris wore off, I figured it out. We are all only successful in this life because of the ones that came before us. They are the ones that we learn from and the ones that allow us to excel. Whether that is a parent or a body donor, none of us would ever be in the position that we are today without having stood on the shoulders of individuals like these. Yet there are unsung heroes who do not ever leave our shores. 
These are the families of the soldiers, the pseudo-single mother, her father, who has to balance work with the schedules of the children, or the child who wishes their mom or dad could have been there for their big game or recital. These things require great strength as well. Thus, just as we are thanking the veterans for their donation, it is just as important for all of us to thank the families here who respected the wishes of their loved ones. Without their willingness to go through this process, we would not have this amazing gift. It is remarkable to think about the commitment these men and women had to their country, not only in life, but also in death they chose to serve. With their amazing gift, we at Des Moines University have been able to acquire anatomical knowledge that we will utilize in our future practices for the improvement of others' health. Just as these men and women defended the well-being of others during their times of service, so too they have assured the well-being of their future brothers in arms and civilians. The only way we can possibly thank them for this irreplaceable gift is to match the commitment these veterans exemplify. Which means we must dedicate ourselves wholeheartedly to the service and health care. Once again, we thank these veterans for their service in life and in death.